Okay, so I got a package in the mail today from Tater Rounds Beauty. So I thought I would go ahead and just do a little unbagging so they can see all the stuff that I got. So let us see then. Alrighty, so it's all packaged up like this. Oh, and I'm going to have to open this by hand because I didn't bring a cutting tool with me. But... It's all good. So, in this nice little baggie, I have got lipsticks! So I got a couple of full-size ones in two colors that I really like. I've got Incubus and Sinner. Sinner is this really, like, gorgeous kind of terracotta red color. And then Incubus is this really, like, dark purple, almost black. So, I'm really digging on those. And, you know, I'm actually going to open one of these up because I'm not familiar with the full-size ones. And, and, what the, and that's what the doe foot looks like on the full-size ones. So, pretty standard. No complaints. I've, I've tried both of these in the sample sizes, so I already know what what the formula is like. So now time to check out all the other things I'm really excited about, which are all of these little samples that I got. What do we have here? We have we have Marionette. And I'll probably swatch some of these. And we have Ooh, Arcane Magic. Which is this. That's this a nice purple because I love purple lipsticks. We've got Royal, which is another purple. What do you have here? Moody, this one I guess is a dark purple. That one looks really nice. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm. Yeah, I'm all for dark purples. Love dark purples. We have Space Girl, another purple. I love purples. Yeah, in it looks like it's not showing up well on the video, but it's a lighter purple, but it's definitely purple, not not like a periwinkle. But don't know about this one because it's maybe a little too light for my taste. Then we have we have oop, Miss Midnight. Yeah, that one might also not be showing up well. But this is, I guess, a more... Ah, good question. This is more like a brownish color, I guess. I'm not sure. And then we have Fiend. This kind of reddish brown color. Yeah. So, let's get to swatching some of these. Oh, which one do I want to try first? I'm going to go... You know, actually, no. I think I'm going to go with Arcane Magic. Because that's such a nice looking color. Alright, let me grab my mirror and we can check this out. Mm. Okay, you can still see me. Ooh! It's got sparklies in it. Oh, yeah! Yeah, forgive my less than stellar application, but yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, that's a really pretty shade of purple. Oh yeah, I like this. Wow. Yeah. You fucking nailed it with this one, Victoria. This is such a pretty color. Mmm. This is such a gorgeous color. Oh, I love that. Yeah. 
We'll have to see how often I wear this, but I can see this one being a regular. I might eventually have to order a full size of this. That's, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Okay, time to swatch a different color. So I've got my makeup eraser cloth here and to take that off. By the way, these makeup eraser cloths are the bomb. This is all I ever use to take my makeup off and it works great. It's so nice that I haven't had to buy makeup wipes. Although, I think I am going to want to get some makeup wipes just to carry in my purse. You know? But, for home use, you can't go wrong with these. Alright, let's try... Let's try one of the reddish colors too, now. What are we going to try? So, I've got Marionette and Fiend, which both look actually very similar. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try, I'm going to try Fiend. Okay, it's a brown. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know about this one. Yeah, that's not bad. That's actually really... It's a nice color. I just don't know how much wear I'm going to get out of it. I think maybe it's a little too brown for my taste. I definitely prefer... If we're going to go that route, I definitely prefer something more... reddish, like this. Yeah, Sinner is definitely a favorite of mine. It's still really pretty though, so who knows? Maybe, yeah, you know, the more I look at it, the more it's growing on me. So, we'll see, but actually that's not bad at all. Maybe for certain occasions I might wear it, but I'm not sure if it's going to be like one of those, like, regular wear kind of lipsticks. Let's try another one. Alrighty. Oh, let's try Moody. This nice dark one. I love dark lipsticks. But of course, I'm a goth, so that should be expected. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, again, excuse my horrible application, but that's nice. Yeah, that's a really dark purple to where it definitely does look almost black. <clears throat> One lipstick that I actually really like, let me see if I can find it here real quick, is... is uh, yeah, this one is Oh Put It On by NYX. This one is a really dark purple that's almost black. And you know what? I would say that this is similar. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do um, swatches of both of these on my hands to compare. Because... Because we might just have a potential dupe. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, there's the two side, you know, with, uh, oh, put it on is on top. It looks like, yeah, it looks like Moody is actually a little bit darker. So, if you like, oh, put it on, but you want something that's just darker than that, but still not, but still 
you know, with with a slight purpley tone to it, Moody is definitely, the, I think, the way to go. Oh, that's really nice. Because, yeah, this almost looks black. It's like, it, at first glance it looks black, but then when you look up... But then when you really look at it, it does look like it's got a sl very slight purple tone to it. That's nice. I think, you know, this might just become one of my favorites for when I'm in the mood for something all really, really dark. Because I don't, despite the fact that I have a number of black lipsticks, I generally never wear them. Because I am a fan of purple. So I, this one just might become my... My, my black lipstick of choice. That's nice. Alrighty. More swatches. Hmm. Okay, what are we gonna swatch now? Oh, that's a good question. I think... Yeah, let's try Miss Midnight. This is a... This is a more nude color, but like I guess a purpley nude. Let's see what we get. Huh. Yeah. A purpley nude. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice color, but I don't know if it's something I'd be inclined to wear. I think it's just a little too nudey and pale, I think. But, but if you're into nudes and sort of a grayish purple is up your alley, then I'd say it's worth checking out. But it might not be for me. And this is why I absolutely love that she sells them in these sample sizes, because... I'm really glad that I didn't have to buy a full-size one of these, you know, just only to find out that, oh, I don't really like it, so these sample sizes are nice. The other thing that occurred to me, too, that's nice about the sample sizes is for travel purposes, because that way, you know, I could carry a whole mess of different lipsticks, it, you know, if I want to, so I have the option to, like, change my lipstick depending on my mood, and so... And if I'm just traveling for a week or so, like, one of these will provide plenty of lipstick, you know, and it'll alleviate me from having to carry one of these. So, let's try something else now. Get off. All right, what else? Oh, let's try Space Girl. See see how this one works out for me. But just looking at it in the bottle, I think it might be a little too light for my taste. But we'll find out. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, that's definitely way too light. I love purple, but I don't know about this one. Oi! What the hell is up with you? Okay, it seems like maybe this is a little dried out. That's not ideal. Or maybe there's something up with the, the doe foot? Yeah, there's something, there's like not much going on here. I don't know if this has just gotten dried out, or there's something wrong with the doe foot, I don't know. Yeah, there's really not much that's getting on there. I don't know what the, I don't know what the dealio is here. There we go, uh, that's a little better, maybe. Yeah, I think this might have dried out a little. 
But that's okay, because this isn't even... This color isn't even really my bag of Cheetos anyway. So... Yeah. Yeah, this is way too, way too bright for my taste, I think. So, yeah, that's too bad. But, you know, that's why, again, that's why I'm glad she has the sample sizes. So let me see here. I'll just start kind of putting some of these aside into colors that I like and colors that I don't. Oh, I'm going to try this one next, Royal, because that one might actually be one that I like, because it looks like a nice rich purple. Ah. All right, time to try Royal. Ah. This might work. Oh, yeah. Nice. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know if this will be like a regular wear kind of thing, but I could definitely see getting some use out of this. That's a really pretty purple. Yeah. Yeah, this is this is nice. I like it. That's a keeper for sure. And I think the last one on the list we've got to try is Marionette. So let's give that one a try. Yeah, the other thing too about these sample sizes that's kind of cool is these would be really nice for gifts so you can just, you know, like I'm maybe thinking of getting some for my for my sister, just getting her like maybe a little assortment and then she can, you know, try different things out and see what she likes. So, Marionette, let's give this one a try. Okay, that's another kind of, that's another brown. Uh, yeah, this is a more nudie color. Yeah, this one I'm not sure about because it is more of a nude. Maybe I could maybe see myself wearing this in a situation where I wanted to wear something but didn't really feel like wearing really obvious lipstick. I mean, it's a nice color. It is. I just don't know if it's really my color. So, yeah, and it's, it's, it's very similar. It's definitely very similar to Fiend. So I'm actually going to go ahead and hand swatch both of those. Let me take off the previous hand swatch if I can to make room here. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So I'm gonna do a swatch of Marionette. And now there's, there's Marionette, so now I'm gonna do Fiend on top of that. Or below that, as the case may be. Yeah, they're very similar. So, yeah, this one up here, that one's Marionette, and the other one's Fiend. You can see that they're very similar, but Fiend is just a little bit darker than Marionette. Yeah, if you're into, like, kind of nudity brown colors, then I'd say both of these are worth checking out. And, you know, the more, the more I wear this, the more it does kind of grow on me. Because it's a nice color. It is. It's just not as, it's not as bold as I normally like to go with lipstick, but, but I would say it's probably not a bad thing to have for those occasions where I feel like wearing something, just I don't feel like going, 
you know, wearing something like crazy, like crazy dark like this, you know, or a, or a nice or a really like bolder red like this, you know, where I just, you know, maybe it's like, I just feel like wearing something a little more subtle, so. So I can maybe see on certain occasions getting use out of this. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that. I could see that for occasions when I just feel like I need to, like I just feel like having something, but I don't really feel like wearing makeup. So, yeah. So yes, there's my little video showing off the uh, stuff I got from Tater Rounds Beauty, and as, you, as usual, your stuff is awesome, Victoria. Muchísimas gracias. I am, I love it, and you should definitely check her stuff out, check her Etsy shop, her makeup is absolutely amazing, and it's all vegan and cruelty free, and it's, yeah, it's awesome, so, again, muchísimas gracias, and I will see everyone later.